it morally wrong for people with disabilities to perform in freak shows? This picture is fake, but the woman that it depicts is real. Josephine Myrtle Corbin was born in 1868. In his notes, the doctor who helped deliver her mentioned that her mother and father had a very similar appearance, yet they claimed to not be related. Myrtle was born with diapagus, a condition where a conjoined twin fails to fully separate. She had two pelvises and two sets of reproductive organs, but other than that, she was a perfectly normal and healthy baby girl. At around age 13, her father began touring her around as a sideshow performer. Though life was difficult back then, Myrtle became a popular and successful performer. She earned around $450 a week, which was considered a good wage at the time. Despite everything she had gone through, she had a very sunny disposition and was considered likable by her peers. She went on to have four daughters and a son, all successful pregnancies and deliveries. During the Great Depression, she began to have financial struggles and unfortunately had to go back to circus work temporarily. She unfortunately died at age 59. Not of anything that had to do with her condition, but of an infection that could have been cured with modern antibiotics.